Fish are vertebrates that live in water and breathe using gills. They are cold-blooded animals, meaning that their body temperature varies with their environment. Most fish are marine. Some move between marine and freshwater as part of their life cycle, and the remainder live only in freshwater. Many fish have skeletons made of bones, but others, like sharks and rays, have skeletons made of cartilage. This video will focus on the anatomy of bony fish, not cartilaginous fish. Fish have adapted to live in a wide range of aquatic habitats. The shape of a fish's body tells a lot about where it lives, how it feeds, and how it moves through the water. Bottom-dwelling fish, such as flounders, are generally flat in shape, so they can more easily camouflage with the bottom. Fish that live in reef or coral crevices, like butterfly fish, have deep, flat bodies that are highly nimble, so they can move around without bumping into objects. Long, slender fish, such as eels, are able to easily hide under rocks and among coral. Slow-moving fish, like blowfish, are often protected by spines or armor, and may also have poisonous flesh. Fish with more elongated bodies, such as salmon, are able to swim very fast for long periods. A fish's mouth is located at the front of the body. The mouth shape is a good clue to what the fish eats. The larger the mouth, the bigger the prey that can be consumed. The position of the mouth can also indicate whether a fish consumes prey from the surface, the bottom, or right in front of them. If the mouth is positioned toward the surface, the fish feeds on what is above them. If the mouth is positioned in the middle of the head, the fish either chases prey or feeds on what is ahead of them. If the mouth is positioned toward the bottom, the fish feeds on benthic food sources. Fish may or may not have teeth, depending on the species. Most bony fish have scales that provide protection from predators, along with parasites and other injuries. The scales are partly embedded in the skin, and the free parts overlap. Fish also have a very important mucus layer covering the body that helps prevent infection. Fins are appendages used by a fish to maintain position and to move, steer, and stop. The dorsal fins, located on top, and anal fins, located on the bottom, primarily help fish remain stable, so they do not roll over. Most fish swim by moving their tail, called the caudal fin, left and right. The pectoral fins, located on the fish's sides, and the pelvic fins, located on the underside, assist with steering, stopping, and hovering. Pectoral fins can be used individually to maneuver the fish up, down, and sideways. The fins of most bony fish can be folded flat against their body. Although most fish have well-developed eyes, they do not use their vision as one of their primary senses. Typically, vision underwater is limited to a few yards, due to limited light availability. Fish have paired nostrils, called nares. The nares are used to detect odors in water and can be quite sensitive. In general, fish use smell rather than sight to locate food. Fish have a faint visible line running along their body, called the lateral line. The lateral line consists of a series of sensory pores that sense vibrations in the water. This system allows fish to locate predators and find prey. Fish also have ears, but only the inner ear is present. It is used for balance as well as hearing. Some fish, like catfish, have barbels on their head. These are thought to help track down food. Most bony fish possess a swim bladder to control their buoyancy. The amount of gas contained within the bladder is adjusted to allow the fish to move up and down in the water column. In some species, the swim bladder is also used in hearing and sound production. Fish use gills to breathe. Water goes in through the mouth and out through the gills. The operculum, or gill cover, is a flexible, bony plate that protects the gills. It opens and closes to allow water to pass over the gills. Fish blood is circulated by a two-chambered heart. 
the heart pumps blood over the gills, where it becomes oxygenated and begins its path toward the rest of the body, delivering the oxygen before returning to the heart. Fish kidneys assist with excretion and regulation of water balance. In bony fish, salts that are absorbed are excreted by the kidneys. Like other vertebrates, fish have an esophagus, which typically leads to the stomach, where food is digested and passed to the intestines. Waste exits the fish at the anus. The reproductive organs of bony fish are referred to as gonads. These organs are usually paired. Female gonads are called ovaries, and they produce eggs. Male gonads are called testes, and they produce sperm. Fish experience indeterminate growth, growing throughout their lives, changing from larvae to juveniles to adults. The number of eggs a female produces generally increases with increasing body size. Most female fish produce eggs that are released and fertilized by males externally. The fertilized eggs often drift in the water column or remain on the bottom before the larvae hatch. For more marine facts, click the subscribe button.